Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Tilted Rose Crochet Stitch which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a very pretty design. It's a quite stable design but it's also uh, fairly lacy. It's similar on both sides and it's going to work up quickly for you. It's made primarily of chain stitches and double crochet stitches. Today I'm going to be using a little bit of the Cotton Aran Yarn by Paint Box Yarns as well as a 5mm crochet hook. You can find links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in that description you can find a direct link to the written and photo tutorial for this stitch that is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one here on every uh, Sunday morning. Our stitch pattern today, the Tilted Rose Stitch, is worked uh, in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and for your foundation chain, you're going to need a multiple of 8 stitches plus 5. So today, I'm going to be chaining a total of 29 stitches. There's 10. There's 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Once you have your foundation chain worked to the desired size, you're going to begin by working a double crochet stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four. Into that fourth chain, work one double crochet stitch. Now the chain three at the beginning of your row is going to also count as a double crochet stitch and you will always work into it. Once you've double crocheted into that fourth chain you're going to work one more double crochet into the next stitch. Skip the next two chains and work one double crochet into the next chain. chain three. You're now going to work three double crochet stitches and you're going to work them around the post of the double crochet stitch that you just made. So this is the double crochet stitch here. You're going to work three double crochet stitches around the post. So yarn over, insert your hook around the post of that last double crochet stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and complete the stitch. Do three in total all around the post. Like so. You're then going to skip the next two chains and double crochet in each of the next three chain stitches. There's one two, and three. You're then going to repeat what you did uh, before all the way across. So skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the next stitch, chain three, and work three double crochet stitches around the post of the double crochet just worked. Skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet 
in each of the next three chains. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row one, you're going to chain three and turn your work. For row two, you're going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So your chain three counts as a stitch and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Next, you're going to chain two and then single crochet into the next chain three space. So that you have three double crochets and a chain three space. You're going to single crochet just into that chain three space. Chain two and double crochet into each of the next three double crochet stitches. You're then going to repeat. Chain two, single crochet into the next chain three space, chain two, and double crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across, chain three, and turn your work. For row three, you're going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then skipping the chain two space, double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're then going to chain three and work three double crochet stitches around the post of the double crochet stitch just made. One, two, and three. Skip the next chain two space and double crochet into each of the next three double crochet stitches. And repeat. Double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Chain three and double crochet around the post of the stitch just worked. three double crochets, and then double crochet in each of the next three double crochet stitches. So repeat that all the way across, chain three, and turn your work. And that's it. For the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So your row two, double crochet into each of the next two stitches, chain two, and single crochet into the next chain three, space, chain two, and so forth, all the way across, and then work that row three that we just worked. So thank you so much for joining me on this Sunday Stitch tutorial. And once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.